hello there and welcome to the garden it is a beautiful day here in march i've got a t-shirt on which doesn't feel right but it's nice and warm i'm actually only down here for a second because i am going to grab a bag of potting mix and then i'm going to go back upstairs and plant up the green stock for um spring slash into summer i've got some herbs that are going to keep going throughout the year but i also picked up some lettuces for summer and i'll explain my whole thought process with the green stock i'm i'm excited to get it going but i needed to add just a little bit more potting soil to it so yesterday i've got some changes going on out here too so i will share those with you maybe um in another video uh, i just added a few things kind of got getting ready for some spring planting but let me grab a bag of potty mix take it up to the upstairs patio and we will get the green stock all planted up for spring it's a good feeling because it's been sitting up there looking a little sad and empty so it's high time we do this project okay so here is the tray of plants from the garden center this morning Oh my goodness, what a sight for sore eyes after a winter of not buying starts, really. Um, I'm going to go through each one of these. I'm trying to decide right now. I think I might want to keep out a couple of them and make like an all herb container. But I'm going to also put a lot of them in the green stock. So we'll see if I keep every single one of these herbs for the green stock. I, yeah, I may do an herb planter. But I got a purple sage which is really pretty. I got this really beautiful golden um, lemon thyme. Isn't that stunning? This is a great like foliage plant for early spring. I've used this a few years in a row in containers because it's just, for this time of year, it's a great like variegated foliage color. Then we've got, let's see here, I got a couple mints, which basically I'm gonna have like a mint section of the green stock. So this is a berries and cream mint. I tend to like these mints that are a little bit shinier, not like the fluffy mints. I have orange mint as well. I'll show you some of the other herbs that I've got in the window boxes that I think I'm going to move into the green stock, but berries and cream, really nice scent. And then I got a mojito mint because I figured maybe I'll make some mojitos <laughs> this summer and why not get a mojito mint? So we'll have to try that. We'll have to catch back up. Um, maybe and try to make a, a mojito from the garden and then we've got let's see tabor tabor thyme i really only picked this one because it has such big leaves for thyme i think that's a little different so let me see what it says about it fragrant brush or dry great for containers perfect then i also got some barbecue um, rosemary that's a really good one and I got green oregano that was really pretty it just looked so healthy so I had to get that and then this was fun I think this is a sorrel raspberry dressing I guess it's rumix I don't know anything about this but it's like a culinary technically an herb they were saying you can add salad dressings raspberry dressing so it says bright leaves add lemony flavor to fresh green salad soups meat dishes cooked as vegetables that was new to me so we'll try that out and then i did go ahead and pick up some lettuce i have started a lot of lettuce um from seed you've seen in the container lettuce i got lettuce grown from seed but i figured i would do just some starts this is a uh, butter crunch lettuce i've never been able to really get butter crunch and bib lettuces going from seed. I always struggle with them. This is a red butter crunch. And so I just figured, I just figured I would give up on trying to grow them from seed and just get starts. And um, while I could grow lettuce from seed, the starts will allow me to start harvesting baby greens and making salads right now while my other lettuce is still um, growing. Could I have started this inside? Yes, but they just they look so beautiful and I always have such trouble with butter crunch that I figure I'd let the the experts do it and I will just grow the starts and I'm gonna put them in the green stock and I think that's gonna be perfect the other issue I'm having of course is always the squirrels are such a problem and they get into even the green stock and they dig everything up so with the started plants it's a little bit easier the um the squirrels tend to have a harder time actually digging 
the whole thing up. So that's what we're it's gonna be the plan is we're gonna just try to um, get them started in the green stock. So let me show you now the current state of the green stock because it doesn't look great. My daughter has been coloring on it with chalk. So that's what you see as far as chalk and there's some chalk in here, probably take that out. But what we've got growing right now is actually, this is rhubarb. This is a Gaskins Perpetual Rhubarb. I got the seeds from Pine Tree Seed and it's doing really well in the green stock and it's come up and it's growing so beautifully right now. Sorry, if you can hear my little daughter snoring. Um, and then we got some strawberries. So I'm gonna leave the strawberries to grow in here. Um, I think these are the seascape strawberries. They're ever bearing. I'm gonna have a few rows of strawberries because I also have actually some strawberry starts to plant. But um, yeah, we've got strawberries here and then we've got space for, you know, just herbs. There's nothing growing in it right now. Gotta take out a few of the old plants, but I'm gonna do some refreshing with some fresh soil and plant in at least some of these herbs. I think we'll do a row of herbs here. Hmm, trying to plan out and then maybe some strawberries. I can always rearrange it too if I need to. That's the thing about the green stock. You can always take, you know, some um, levels off and just and just restart it. So let me show you the other herbs. There's just a couple other herbs I need to dig out of the window boxes to put in here and some starts. So these are some of the starts that I, these are strawberries that I started some seed. I also have some orange thyme, some um, lemon mint, and this is oregano as well. So I think I'm going to put all of these into the green stock, but I'm gonna reserve three of the orange thyme because I want them to actually go in some little containers down below. But I'm gonna put a couple of orange thymes in the, the green stock too, and these strawberries, these are the Alexandria strawberries. It's another ever-bearing strawberry. And we're pretty easy to start from seed. I did see actually some Alexandria strawberries at the garden center. It was funny because I saw the starts, a six pack, and it was $15 for a six pack of Alexandria strawberries. And I got that seed packet for I think like three or $4 and it was able to, yeah, have all of those starts as well. And I had a ton more seeds so I could get a bunch more started next year. So that was a real reminder to me of like, um, just how, yeah, how cost effective starting things from seed really can be. It can sometimes make a big difference and something like strawberries definitely, it can add up quick and they've been super easy super fun to grow from seed and just like kind of the cutest little seedlings out there just adorable all right so here's the before and i'm gonna get the whole thing planted up and i'll show you the after Well, I made a mess with the soil. <laughs> I need to clean that up, but it's looking so pretty already. So this is the mint row. I put a bunch of mints in here. We've got two rows of strawberries. I'm gonna add a couple more strawberry plants down here. I have just a couple more holes. And right now I have it backed into the corner. So I don't really, I haven't really planted anything in the back, but I may, um, I may pull it out and start rotating it a bit once we get going into the season. For right now, I'm gonna start with this. Um, I think it would be kind of nice to have it sort of spinning because I do have it on wheels. So I actually could pull it out a bit and start spinning it more. But yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna worry about that today. And we'll come in and water this. Um, we got the thyme and the oregano down here strawberries and then this I'm gonna plant super bells up here because last year my super bells did so beautifully so I'm gonna plant all my super bells up top but I'm just gonna leave that empty for right now and we've got um yeah as I said just a couple more spaces for herbs that I can continue to fill it in but I'm so happy with it <laughs> minus all the chalk um I think it's looking so now, the only thing is I totally misestimated how much room I have for lettuce so what I think I'm gonna do is stick a few lettuce 
in some of the open places that I have here. And then maybe I'll even take some lettuce downstairs and do some more planting with lettuce down there. But I'm just gonna fill in a few last little corners with lettuce and then I can sub them out for other things as the season gets going. Okay, so I definitely have more lettuce than I than I need for this. So I'm gonna take a bunch of it and just plant it down um, in the actual garden, which will be perfect because that'll be lovely to have um, some lettuce down there. But I think the green stock looks so nice, so full um, and happy. And that's just, it's just great to get that all planted up and looking good. And now I can just water it in. Um, a perfect thing for growing uh, like herbs, the strawberries. I know a lot of people grow um, strawberries and things like this. I do find it's a little hard to plant into the sides if you don't have it taken apart. Um, so I, I'm glad I'm putting in some things that are gonna be more perennial, like the, um, you know, like all the herbs, for example, and the strawberries, cause then I don't have to be getting in and trying to like plant in and change things out uh, because it is, it's just a little tricky in these. But this top row is gonna be all for um, the Super Bowls Calabrocoa because that likes, a, I, I don't know, I've had trouble growing Calabrocoas in different environments, but last year it thrived. It loved this green stalk so much. It was just absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna do a lot more of that. I didn't even get to digging up my herbs in my window so box. These are the window box planters where I've got, this is winter savory. There's a little bit of time. I need to kind of trim this back and see if this is gonna live. Um, some golden oregano, again, it hasn't really woken up yet. I think this sage is dead. I'm not quite sure. But over here, these chives are looking beautiful. They are very happy, very alive. And I think I'm gonna add them to a container with some of those other herbs that we got. Maybe we'll do a little spring planter. So stay tuned uh, for that. Cause I think that's gonna be good. I had a rosemary that died. Rosemary doesn't really overwinter for me. And then this is my orange thyme, which I have left the space for on the thyme shelf of the green stock and that will go in there once it's come up a little bit more. So anyways, a fun day, nice and warm and sunny, feels like spring and really feels like spring doing all this planting. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.